wengi wanamfahamu kuwa kiongozi wa mashtaka katika michezo ya kuigiza ya vio ya mahakamani. Lakini kando na kuwa mwigizaji, David aliwa ni mwimbaji na pia mwilekezi. Leo hii tutakuwa pamoja nae na kufahamu karamu za kizote. Jiunge nasi. Thank you so much. Yes. 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 Na mimi kwanza ni meokoka na mpenda kristo kama mokoze maisha angu. Sa hiyo pia nifanya mina kuwa mimi pia ni muimbaji na naimba nyimbo za injili. Sa hivi ni kwa na album tatu. Na nenelekea saa nene. Na pia mimi ni msani kuwa naigiza jukwani na pia kwenye filamu. Na potokea pia mimi ni kupale. Na nafikiria wengi, wengi ambao wamekua wakitizama runinga. Basi mimi ni kiongozo mashitaka katika vio ya makamani ambayo inaonesha katika kwenye runinga ya KBC Channel 1. Yaani bishoto album tatu tayari. Nina album tatu sasa hivi. Wapi mbona sijazisikia vizuri ama huyu market vizuri? Nimekuwa nimekuwa kwenye e game for long. Mara ya kwanza bon nilizindua album yangu ya kwanza ilikuwa ni mwaka 2022. Sasa hiyo ni kitambo sana. Tulipokuwa tukianza kwenye gospel ilikuwa watu wachache sana kama mimi Rafton mm -hmm. kuna mbuvi walikuwa pale Henry Mutuku so ilikuwa ni kitambo kidogo alafu album ya pili nikafanya mwaka 2010 mm -hmm. na bone kadile kidogo kwa sasa hivi nataka ku launch album mbili mm -hmm. uh, ngawa moja ambao nimeshatoa nyimbo 17 na kuna nyingine nyimbo 8 ya ya andika kila siku ah ni na, na, nafikiria ukiwa na lengo ama ukiwa na kwa ile vision ambayo Mungu amekupatia hauwezi mm -hmm. choka. Na sasa kama theatric arts labda unaweza kutueleza kutufahamisha hiyo mnafanya nini haswa? Ya um, kwa sasa uh, wakati kikundi kilicho kilianza kili, kili, kikundi uh, ni yetu ya kwanza. Kwa maana cast yangu ya kwanza ilikuwa watu kama Jalangu. Jalangu alikuwa hapa. Tukawa na kuna Paul Motuko. Watu wengi 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 ambao mwingine si 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 wakumbuka sasa hivi kwa raka. Lakini uh, ni yetu ya kwanza ilikuwa ni tulikuwa tunasema we are a theater group with a difference. Kwa nini? Wengine wetu tulikuwa na, na vipaji vingine. Kama mimi nilikuwa ni mwigizaji naimba. Na nilikuwa na, natamani mambo ya fashion kama hiyo. Kuna wengine walikuwa nakuja hata hata jalango mwenye akawa wakati mmoja pia aliimba ka record nyimbo. So kulikuwa na vitu vingi. Tulikuwa nataka tuwe na kikundi ambao siku moja tunaweza own space ambao watu wako ma DJ wengine watakuwa nafanya sijui nini vitu kama hivyo. Sasa kwa tu focus haiko tu ni mambo ya uigizaji kwenye jukwaa lakini hivyo vingine pia tukiziweka pamoja itakuwa ni a bit of the difference at the end of the day. Sasa hiyo ilikuwa ni yetu ya kwanza kabisa. Lakini of course with time because of uh, some other hurdles hapa na pale uh, tumekuwa bado tunafanya ile ya kwanza ambayo tulianza nayo ambayo ilikuwa ni sasa book kwenda mashule ingawa katika kwenda mashule pia ikakuwa ni sasa tukagundua kuwa sisi pia tunaweza uh, uh, kuza usanii kuza wasanii no. guys can come here and be nurtured wa kwa kitu fulani na pia tunafanya guidance and counseling wakati tunakutana na vijana wadogo ama uh, uh, sana vijana kwenye mashule so haya yote yamekuwa ni sisi lakini pia muziki pande yetu kwa kuwa kama every december Sio alikuwa anatoa muziki moja kila Christmas. mtu wewe ama na kila mtu ambaye uko katika kila mtu kikundiki. Kikundiki, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. kila mtu kama mwimbaji pia ah hiyo sasa msanii msanii ni usanii eh unaweza fanya kisha ukaanza kuimba kama wewe uimbi sasa ni challenge yani tu ni creative world mm -hmm. creative world yeah. mm -hmm. lakini ningesema tu katika ile ningesema kama vitu ambavyo tumefanya uh, kutupatia let me say kama kama some uh, what do you call it? Eh, kwa ni kama maybe mitufanya tukakua, watu kaweza kujua sisi nafanya nini. No. Kwanza tumikuwa tuki support a lot of drama festival, tuki sponsor drama festival from uh, machinani, the zonal level to national levels. And then uh, mwaka elfu mbili na kumina tano, 2015, tulibatika, tukapatua na KICD, yu ni Kenya Institute of, of Curriculum Devel no. Development, wakatupatia na fasi ya ku, ku, either ku change, ama kuigiza katika filamu 
uh, kitabu kimoja ambayo kilikuwa kinajulikana kama uh, Caucasian Chalk Circle. Yeah, so hiyo ikakuwa ni kama kilele cha kazi ambayo alikuwa akifanya. Na hivi karibuni pia natumai some other things will come up at the end of the day. So hizo ni vitu ndio ambavyo tumekuwa tukifanya hapa na pale. Na ningesema kikubwa sana ni wale watu ambao wameweza kutoa kwenye kundi chetu uh, kuweza kukua watu wengi kiongea kuhusu kina Jalango, kina Sleepy David, kina Winja, Jackie Vike, kuna kuna jamaa fulani pia ni msau jina kama kama sasa kwenye kwenye church wasanii kama watano na sita hivi na pia ukienda kama kikundi cha hiyo uh, Heartstrings na Heartstrings uh, Entertainment karibu kila msanii pale kuna trend kuna uh, kwach ni kwach na wengine wengi ambao uh, maybe si zote sasa hivi na pia kuna mfasa ambaye ni poet no. ni poet mfasa pia alikuwa ametoka hapa na ni changamoto zipi ambazo umeweza kuziona katika industry hii ya michezo ilikwani aha ah uh, kwenye michezo ilikwani nafikiria kikubwa sana hata ikiwa ni watu wa, wa, wa filamu ama chochote kile inakuwa kwanza ni ile support tuna support nzuri sana vile kwa kuwa unaona kama vitu ambavyo tukiona sasa hizi vitu tumefanya tumefanya vitu vingi sana kujaribu kuonesha kuwa tunajua kile tunafanya na hiyo wakati mwingine napata kuna changamoto husiana pia kupewa kibali kupatiwa ruhusa ya kufanya kazi yetu mashuleni kitambo ilikuwa ni rais kidogo sasa tumekuwa na kama maongezi baina ya sisi na na wizara ya elimu ili waweze kukubalisha kazi ambayo tunafanya rasmi iwe ni kazi ambayo naelewa kuwa uh, kwa mfano kama mimi nilikuwa mkubwa nilikuwa kama naibu uh, secretary general wa wa kikundi ambao kinajulikana kama Kenya um, Act, Kenya Cultural Center Association of Artists ambao ni association ambayo inaleta watu wote ama wa vikundi vyote vya vya setbacks na pale ambao nilikuwa tunajaribu kuongea na na serikali kuhusiana na, na kazi zetu kuweza kuelewa kwa kuwa kunayo treaty ambao ama uh, uh, treaty or agreement that was done by UNESCO mwaka 2006 kule Geneva ambayo ilikuwa nasema sisi ambao tunajulikana kama theater uh, uh, theater in education practitioners tukubaliwe katika nchi zote duniani uh, kwa kuwa sisi tupo na hii ni kazi na ni kazi ambayo pia ina ina oana ama ina, ina, kuna, kuna, kuna ile uh, kusema ambao tunakaribiana tuna na mambo ya ya, ya, ya ya education ama mambo ya elimu kwa kuwa wakati tunaigiza mwanafunzi anaweza kuelewa zaidi. Kwa kuwa anasema kuwa kuna ile power of sight. At the end of the day. So so unapata hiyo uh, imekuwa changa moto kidogo atu unapata kazi yetu si jinsi ilivyokuwa kitambo. Na pia kuna vitu kama mambo na funding uh, pesa hizo no. yani kuweza kufund kazi ambayo tunafanya na pia wasanii ambao wamechibuka sasa hivi. Ningesema pia imekuwa ni kama kama changamoto au wasanii ambao tuko nao sasa hivi hawana ile ile patience kama jinsi silikuwa kitambo hawana ile patience inakuwa kuwa sio mbaya kupata pe, uh, fedha ama kuitisha pesa lakini inakuwa pesa inakuwa ya kwanza badala ya kazi badala ya kazi badala ya ile creativity mm-hmm. ile passion ya utajirika au wewe na unajua spina sema kuwa passion na kazi yetu kwanza ni wewe utaendeleza ile product yeah. ukipatia watu basi itakuwa rahisi kwako wewe kufanya nini kuweza ku Uh, ku, kupata kile ambao unataka. Mm-hmm. So hiyo imekuwa ni changamoto pia. Mm-hmm. Na pia space, kupata space ya kuweza ku, uh, kufanya mazoezi yetu na vitu kama hivyo. Mm-hmm. Imekuwa ni changamoto kubwa. Asa kwa sani mm-hmm. jukwani ama pia kwenye filamu. Was that my little luck fitting out there? Yes, it is. And was that my little squirrel bustling about? Yes. And when did my squirrel come home? Just now come in here to oval. Come and see what I've bought. No, 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 don't disturb me. What did you say all these things? Has my little spent you been wasting money at all? Yes, did you get oval? Oh, oh, so he is so late, Dr. Mr. Crockstad and Mrs. Lee. Welcome, welcome. Oh, uh, you must excuse me. I was so anxious to see Nora in a fine dress. Oh, so very well. Thank you. Everyone even thought so at the dance. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, that's of course. I mean. Ah, uh, well, sir. Uh, so what are you up for tonight? Excuse me. Oh, we're going to the dance, Mr. Crockstad. Ask him to come in. The doctor came at the same time, sir. Um, did he go straight to my room? Yes, sir. Well, no problem. Oh, my friend, come along. Oh, I thought I had your face and felt as oh, if I should let you look in. 
I seem happy and cozy in here. Well, so it seems to me that you took yourself very well prettily upstairs, huh? Ah, exactly. Why shouldn't one enjoy himself at any rate of the night? Excuse us. us. Uh-huh. Meet us at your dance. Okay, okay, no problem. We're going after you. Okay. And by the way, come along with my friend from the same box. Oh, that's good. From the same box. Oh, well, my name is Dr. Helma. Uh -huh. And well, ja we can just walk in and uh, have some few... Excuse, uh, shops. we are ready. We may leave some. Okay, okay. well... Um, oh, friend, did you come I have some you? champagne for you and even a cigar for you, yeah? Uko na maoni gani kuhusiana na kikundi chako cha Theatrix? Kwanza sasa hivi tunasherekea miaka 15. 15. Ya tangia tuanze kikundi chenyewe. Uh, na inamaanisha kuwa lazima sasa pia game tupindue kidogo ndio kidogo vitu vingine vikuje very soon maybe we'll be moving to film hiyo ndio hiyo ndio sehemu kubwa kwetu sana na pia kuona studio kwa pia upande wa muziki tunapenda muziki tunafanya muziki dancing vitu kama hivyo haya uko na ushauri wote ambao labda ungependa kumwambia mtazamaji especially mtu ambaye unataka kuingia katika sanaa ah kwanza wewe ambaye ungependa kujiunga na sisi ama ama hii fani ya ya usanii Ningesema kwanza kuna kunao nafasi kuna nafasi yako na jinsi ilipita nyongo alisema uh, our dreams are valid uh, kwanza lazima uwe na passion baada ile passion lazima pia uwe umeji, umejituma kuna lazima ujitume kwa kile ambao unataka na uchukue kama kazi ukiichukua kama kazi basi bila shaka uh, usanii utakuchukua tunaenda katika break kidogo alafu turudi baada ya hii usiende mbali Karibu tena bado tuko ndani hapa karama za jamii na David Ali wa mwigizaji. Wengi wanamfahamu kama kiongozi wa mashtaka katika vio vya mahakamani lakini ni mtu mwenye karama nyingi na leo tumekuwa naye akitueleza kuhusiana naye. Sasa Aliwa. Yes. Haya tumesema ni kiongozi wa mashtaka lakini hatujaona. Kuna wale ambao hawajakutazama ukifanya. Kwa hivyo tuonjeshe kidogo. Ah, uh, Shahidi wa kwanza kizimbani. Ah, uh, eleza mahakamani majinao kamili. Unaishi wapi na unafanya kazi gani? Mimi naitwa Zipora, mimi ni mwanahabari. Ah, mwanahabari, unaishi wapi? Mimi. Eh. Naishi, naishi pale Pangani. <laughs> naishi Pangani. Ah, Pangani. Na, na unafanya kazi, umesema wewe ni mwanahabari. Ah, basi kama shahidi uh, tarehe kumi na mbili mwezi wa pili mwaka elfu mbili na kumi na tisa mm. ulikuwa wapi ma nini kilichotokea mm -hmm. kwa mfano unasema kama sasa hivi uh, kuna kisi ambayo unakabiliana nayo hapa ambao kuna mtu ambaye alikuwa ali, aliiba kuku alipewa ah. alikuwa amewaacha pale nyumbani ili aweze ku, kulinda zile kuku na yeye mwenyewe akaamua uh, kuzi, kuzi, kuzi kuchukua na kuweza ku, kuweka kama mkaango ama nini ama kama kitoeo mm -hmm. basi wewe ni shahidi leo hii zipi mm -hmm. tuelezee ulikuwa wapi na kimi nini kilifanyika Nakumbuka tarehe hiyo vizuri niliamka vizuri tu kawaida kajitayarisha alafu hiyo siku ilikuwa sikiongea mapumziko mm, naona naona naona, naona kuli unajua <laughs> nikaenda pale kumsalimia rafiki yangu pale sasa tukiwa pale vile akasema kidogo acha ni anitayarishie labda mlo sasa ujue rafiki yangu alikuwa yafuga kuku pale sasa kidogo akatoka nje akaniambia acha ende achukue kuku moja pale afanye nini achinje yeah, basi basi kulingana na sheria za nchi umeelewa kuwa uh, ni hatia mtu kuja kuchukua kitu ambacho ambacho sio chake wewe kama mwananchi mzalendo ulichukua tu gani wajua sasa wajua kama umeenda kwa mtu wajua uwezi uwezi kumwamrisha kum, kum, afanye kitu wajua ni mgeni pale kwa hivyo mimi tu nilishuhudia lakini hakuna kile ningeweza kufanya <laughs> <laughs> nimeona karibu karibu ni kule zimbani sasa hivi tu nilikuwa <laughs> <laughs> nenda kizima <laughs> yeah, basi hiyo ndio si ufanya pale katika vijiji makamani na wenzangu <laughs> Uh, katika KBC kila <laughs> jumamosi. Na serious kid. Ah, nikisema kwa serious sana ni mambo na sheria. Mambo na sheria na kuna mtazamo fulani na mwelekeo mwelekeo fulani ambao lazima nifuatilie kama kama kiongozi wa mashtaka. Ha, sasa tueleze kuhusiana na safari yako ya muziki sasa. Aha. Kidogo pia tufahamu upande huu. Sawa sawa. Uh, upande wa muziki uh, 
of course kama kama jinsi nilikwambia mara ya kwanza nilianza nikiwa primary kidogo mm. lakini nikiwa sasa shule ya upili ndio nilipoanza sasa nikakawa na kikundi ambao nilikuwa naitwa all partakers nilikuwa nikikwa form 2 form 1 hapo nikatunga wimbo wangu wa kwanza Uh, baada ya hapo nikaanza sasa kuwa natunga nyimbo tu nikatafuta ilikuwa ni vikundi ilikuwa kundi ya wasichana peke yake wasichana wa sita na mimi sasa ambao ilikuwa ni mix school ilikuwa ni rais kwao kwao ilikuwa rais kwa kuwa pia walikuwa na ile walikuwa wanataka walikuwa wana appreciate kitu kwa nafanya sasa ilikuwa ni rais mimi contain wao kutoka form 1 sasa nika form your group kwa all partakers tukaanza kuimba by the time nilikuwa namaliza shule ya upili nilikuwa na nyimbo 14 wow. ambao baada ya hapo <laughs> zipo ukiwa kwenye <laughs> youtube eh, <laughs> utaweza kupata nyimbo zangu zote kila watu aliwa <laughs> music Mimi nasikia kwa wao wengi wengi nyimbo zao za kwanza sasa ukaenda kuziangalia ni utajicheka ah, kabisa 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 lakini lakini nafikiria nyimbo nyimbo yako ya kwanza ndio unafunga mtu unafunga wa kwanza kuna kuna ile ukweli kuna ukweli kabisa ndani yake pale kuliko baadaye unajua pia kuna competition na pia kuna vitu maybe kuna technology ambayo inakuja na vitu kama hivyo lakini hapo nilipoanza baada nilipomaliza shule ya upili nikamtafuta mwanamuziki ambaye anajulikana kama Ruben Kigambi kama unajua unajua mshukuruni bwana kwa kuwa ya yeah, sasa yeye akanirekodia album yangu ya kwanza kabisa baada ya hapo nika launch uh, tarehe 23 Novemba 2002 Pan African Hotel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nika launch, nika launch na wasanii karibu 24 walikuwa pale. Kutoka kutoka by then Henry Motuko alikuwa ame win two Kora Awards. Uh, Kawa na Rafton, Dadion alikuwa na nyimbo tu moja, shilingi ya Kenya. Kuko na watu wengi sana ambao walikuwa pale. And hapo safari yangu ya muziki ikaanza professionally sasa. Baada hiyo nimefanya muziki na watu wengine tofauti, Mbuvi nimefanya muziki na Rafton, nimefanya muziki na Meria Tino na watu wengine tofauti. Na bado wewe unaenda kuperform kule majukwani ama Yeah, na perform. Na perform ni, ni tu wakati kidogo maana nilikuwa naimba na ndugu yangu ambaye anajulikana kama Kal. Sasa nilikuwa nilijulikana kama Aliwa and Kal. Oh. Aliwa and Kal. So baada ya pale Aliwa and Kal, uh, Kal akaamua kuwa ye yeah, sasa ako na kingine ambayo alikuwa anataka kufanya. So sasa yeye ameshughulika sana mambo ya cameras na nini kama hivyo wako shuleni. So sami nikarudi bas saba kwa mimi saa wow. mimi naitwa Aliwa the palace boy Aliwa the palace <laughs> Hashtag boy the palace boy yeah. <laughs> the palace <laughs> sawa uh, so je nimbe mmoja ambao tunaitwa ngoja ukimshirikisha mbuvi naam ukilemewa ngoja mungu yupo ukilemewa ngoja mungu yupo sam 23 sam 23 when i pass through the valley of the shadow of death i shall not want i shall not want milango ikifungwa mulize paulo na sila Mungu yu alali atafungua milango yako yote ukilemewa ngoja Mungu yupo <laughs> Yeah so you know kiniona of kia siezi imba natumai nimeweza kuimba najaribu eh Ukilemewa ngoja Mungu yupo ukilemewa
ni kikingi fulani imeshikilia watu wengi sana eh no, ana support wa sibeni wache <laughs> kie yeah. ana put off from a quality ni mali ana kuleta hapa hiyo tu tulikuwa by the way eh hiyo tu kwa vizuri sana eh na mlikujaja as a group mlikuwa ma best ama mlikuja moja moja kuna kitu ni tabu kuna kitu ni tabu kuna kitu ni tabu uliona posta uliona posta unajileta join theatrix 2017 being in theatrix is the best experience ever and i thank god and also aliwa ame help my youth swengi sana such that hata mtu akitoka theatrix ana wish eh hata singetoka ningerudi tu hapa hapa we have learned so much experience i've gained a lot of courage mimi naitwa calvin auta and i join theatrix uh, 2017 immediately after nimemaliza form 4 and in the auditions then i joined the crew and being in theatrix it means a lot sana actually mimi kwanza ni ni student bado i'm a student at kis university na pursue education in english literature so being in, being in theatrix it means idea ni kwena hiyo courage ya kuface kuface big audiences uh, also my english pay me ko improved hapa hivi basi mambo ndipo yalivyo hapa ndani ya karama za jamii tumekuwa naye David Aliwa mwigizaji na pia mwelekezi wa kipindi hiki cha theatrics arts and ensemble and ensemble na kwa mitandao yetu ya kijamii pale Facebook na YouTube TV 47 Kenya tupatane tena Juma Mosija mstaka mahali nimekuwa zipora sukao yes kwa yeah. 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 yeah.